when we consider reflection in a plane mirror okay see uh, an example here mm dash is a plane mirror Th there is a uh, ray of light incident on the plane mirror so po is the incident ray and o is the point of incidence clear now the incident ray is again reflected back into the same medium so that's what reflection means right so oq is the reflected ray now o is the point of incidence on the mirror mm dash now if we draw a line o n which is perpendicular to the mirror mm dash then that particular line which is drawn perpendicular to the mirror at the point of incidence we will call it as normal okay now there is an angle formed between po and on that is po is the incident ray on is the normal at the point of incidence so the angle between po and on is called angle of incidence which generally denoted by i clear now similarly the if you consider the angle between on and oq oq is called the reflected ray fine so the angle between on and oq that is angle n oq we will call it as angle of reflection right and there is an angle between the mirror surface and the incident ray so this is the angle pom right so pom angle plus angle pon this will be 90 degrees because on is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror fine out of this 90 degrees if i take away the angle of incidence i the balance angle that is pom is called the grazing angle of incidence so we'll denote it by ig clear similarly we will also have grazing angle of reflection that is the angle between the plane mirror the surface of the plane mirror and the reflected ray so here it is angle q o m dash that is the angle of grazing angle of reflection now we have certain laws of reflection which the plane mirrors will abide not only plane mirrors any surface wherein a light ray is instant and is reflected back into the same medium so any reflection anywhere whether you talk it as whether you take the regular reflection or diffuser reflection or whatever it is basically any reflection will obey these laws of reflection when we talk about the laws of reflection there are two laws basically one is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection here you can see the angle p o n and the angle q o n both will be equal that is the meaning of the first law of reflection angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so when these two angles are equal obviously the grazing angle of incidence ig and the grazing angle of reflection rg both will be equal okay because the grazing angle and, and the angle of incidence both these two will be complementary similarly the reflecting angle of reflection and the grazing angle of reflection both are complementary so when i is equal to r we will have ig is equal to rg the second law is the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all these three will lie in a single plane so basically the second law tells that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all these three will lie in the single plane clear so these two laws of reflection govern the total uh, reflection phenomenon whether you take re regular or diffused or any type of reflection mm -hmm.